Health Canada says two people have died after consuming products that have been recalled over a risk of listeriosis. Twelve people have fallen ill after consuming various silk and great value brand plant-based milk products. One of those to get sick is from Nova Scotia. Ten are in Ontario and one is in Quebec. We're joined now by Catherine Donnelly, an emeritus professor at the University of Vermont who has studied listeria for decades. So first of all, could you tell us a little bit about what listeria actually is? Yes, so listeria is a bacterium. Um, it is an organism that is ubiquitous in nature. We find it everywhere in plant material and water and soil. And um, it causes the illness listeriosis. Listeriosis is a fairly rare form of foodborne illness, but it has a very high mortality rate. So for individuals that become infected with listeria, about 30% of them end up dying. Um, the individuals that are susceptible to listeria usually um, have some kind of underlying health condition that causes their immune system to be suppressed. But pregnant women, and especially their fetuses, um, are also susceptible to listeria infection. Well, how can it get into our food and, and our drinks? Sure. So um, typically, listeria is controlled in processing plant environments. Um, by good sanitation measures. However, um, listeria can be a cause of post-process recontamination. And so when you're dealing with pasteurized products, um, if there is some form of contamination of the product after the pasteurization product, that's how it can enter these products. Well, what do we know about this particular recall? Is there something about plant-based milks that make it maybe more of a risk for this type of bacteria? Yeah, there was a study published last year in Ireland that showed that listeria can grow faster in um, plant-based products compared to bovine milks, for instance. Um, the study was done at a couple of temperatures. They would be considered abuse temperatures. And it's important, I think, for consumers to understand that um, listeria can grow under refrigeration conditions. It grows much more slowly if there are good refrigeration conditions. So 40 degrees Fahrenheit, four degrees centigrade. If there is some elevation of temperature, um, the organism will grow faster. Well, what are the symptoms of listeriosis? Yeah, so it's one of those um, infections that leads to fairly significant um, symptoms. So um, headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Sometimes, many times, symptoms are so severe that individuals will go and seek medical attention. And when they do, um, they are able to be treated in many instances. But I understand some people don't necessarily feel these symptoms right away. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, there can be mild symptoms that go unrecognized. There's also a very long incubation period, up to 30 days prior to the onset of symptoms. And so it's really difficult to remember a food product that you might have consumed 30 days ago that led to your infection. Well, of course, here in Canada, there have been two deaths and quite a number of other people made quite sick. Wondering if there's anything we can do to safeguard ourselves. Yeah, so consumers should definitely pay attention to recall notices. Um, look in the refrigerators if they think they might have consumed some of these products. Certainly don't consume them any longer. Um, for, and, and you know, most of the time products that are pasteurized are, are very, very safe. It's kind of, uh, outbreaks are usually the rare events. And I know the Canadian Food Inspection Agency is actively investing in this um, outbreak and trying to get things under control to safeguard consumers. All right, well, Professor Donnelly, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it.
My pleasure, Amy. Thank you.